hello everyone how are you all i hope you all are doing well so i welcome you again to your english class and today we'll do possessive pronouns actually this is the part 2 of the series pronouns and basically in the first part we discussed the meaning of pronouns and the first kind of pronoun that is personal pronoun and if you have not seen that video you can check the link in the description box so in this video we'll discuss about possessive pronouns possessive adjectives and we will do some exercises in the end so let's get started and let's understand the meaning of possessive pronouns now what is a possessive pronoun possessive pronouns are those which show possession or ownership it shows that something belongs to someone okay for example look at this sentence this book is mine so here mine is a possessive pronoun now look at uh, one more sentence this is my book so here what is my my is possessive adjective it's not a possessive pronoun it's a possessive adjective now what is the difference between possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives basically possessive pronouns refer to a previously named or understood noun they stand alone and are not followed by a noun as you can see here in the sentence this book is mine so mine is used in the end of the sentence it is not followed by a noun all right so and it is basically referring to a noun book all right and possessive pronouns are mine yours his hers ours and theirs and remember one thing here that we never use the apostrophe in any possessive pronoun okay now what are possessive adjectives possessive adjectives are used before nouns and do the work of an adjective now i hope you all know the meaning of adjective adjectives are describing words basically which describe a noun okay for example this is my book so here my is a possessive adjective not possessive pronoun because it is used before the noun book and it is describing the noun book all right and possessive adjectives are my your his her its are and there and now remember one thing that its with no apostrophe is used only as possessive adjective okay we don't use it as a possessive pronoun all right and its with an apostrophe is the short form of it is or it has now look at this table you will be able to understand uh, possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns it will be easier for you to learn now if you look at this table there are three columns first column is of personal pronouns that we discussed in our previous video second column is of possessive adjective and third column is of possessive pronoun so for personal pronoun i we use possessive adjective my and possessive pronoun will be mine for example this is my car so my here is possessive adjective because we have used it before the noun car and this car is mine so here mine is a, po a possessive pronoun all right because uh, we are using it after noun and basically it is referring to the noun car okay now uh, for personal pronoun you we use possessive adjective your and possessive pronoun yours now again i am telling you that we don't use the apostrophe in possessive pronouns so here you will not use apostrophe okay example is are these your books are these books yours so again we uh, are using your before the noun books so it's it's a possessive adjective and yours is a possessive pronoun because it is referring to the noun books now for personal pronoun he we use possessive adjective his and possessive pronoun his this is his painting this painting is his for personal pronoun she we use possessive adjective her and possessive pronoun hers is that her crown is that crown hers for personal pronoun it we use possessive adjective its and we don't use it as a possessive pronoun okay 
the example is the plant is in its pot okay now for the personal pronoun we we use possessive adjective are and possessive pronoun ours this is our laptop this laptop is ours and uh, the last one is uh, for they we use possessive adjective their and possessive pronoun theirs did you see their medals did they show you theirs so now i hope you all can differentiate between possessive adjective and possessive pronoun now let's do some exercises which are uh, given in your books on page number 141 and 142 So here in exercise number 5 you have to complete these sentences using possessive adjectives it can be singular or plural okay together with the words in brackets you have been given one example so look at the example i left my tiffin box in the school bus all right so tiffin box is given in the bracket and here you have to use possessive adjective so we know that my is a possessive adjective okay so uh, the possessive adjective for personal pronoun i is my so the answer here is my tiffin box in the school bus okay so now look at the sentence a he has forgotten dash trousers so which per, uh, which possessive adjective will be used here for personal pronoun he we use possessive adjective his so here his will be used he has forgotten his trousers in the shop so now look at the sentence b they have lost dash keys so which possessive adjective will be used here for possessive pronoun they we use possessive adjective their so answer here will be their keys in the park look at the sentence c sorry sir i haven't done dash homework so again for personal pronoun i we use possessive adjective my so answer here will be i haven't done my homework look at the next sentence now the cup is without dash handle so now which possessive adjective will be used here yes it's the cup is without its handle now because uh, the cup has no gender so for neuter gender we use it all right so here we will use the adjective the possessive adjective its and now here uh, you have to take care that uh, we will not use any apostrophe in its okay look at the next sentence is this dash pet dog so is this your pet dog all right the next sentence is the teapot is without dash spout so spout means spout means lid so the teapot is without its spout so again teapot has no gender it's a neuter gender so for neuter gender we use the pronoun it all right so we will use possessive adjective its here The next sentence is will you please give us back dash ball so the possessive adjective which will be used here is our ball will you please give us back our ball look at the next sentence meena can't remember dash tables so meena is a girl it's a feminine gender so we will use uh, the possessive adjective her meena can't remember her tables The last sentence is I have forgotten to bring dash notebook. So for personal pronoun we use possessive adjective my. So the answer here will be I have forgotten to bring my notebook. Now look at the uh, next exercise that is exercise number 6. Here you have to rewrite the following sentences using mine, ours, yours, his, hers or theirs. so these are personal pronouns you have to use personal pronouns basically here the example is also given this is my stick so here my is possessive adjective so if you have to use possessive pronoun it will be this stick is mine all right so look at the sentence a that is your kite okay so here a possessive pronoun will be yours the kite is yours The next sentence is these are her frocks. So here which possessive pronoun will be used? These frocks are hers. Okay? The next sentence is those are their flowers. So the possessive 
pronoun which will be used here is theirs. Those flowers are theirs. Sentence D is these are our dolls. The possessive pronoun which will be used here is ours. These dolls are ours. The next sentence is this is my pen. This pen is mine. That is his trophy. That trophy is his. Now look at the next exercise which is exercise number 7. Here you have to fill in the blanks with suitable possessives. Suitable possessives means uh, it can be possessive adjective or it can be possessive pronoun. Okay. So look at the sentence A. I can't lend you this book because it's not dash. So which possessive will be used here? Possessive pronoun or possessive adjective? Yes, here possessive pronoun will be used. Uh, and which possessive pronoun will be used? Yes, mine. Because for personal pronoun I, we use possessive pronoun mine. I can't lend you this book because it's not mine. The next sentence is on the next page that is 142. And the sentence is that idea of dash is very good. So here, uh, which possessive will be used? Yes, we will use possessive pronoun. Now we can use hers or yours. Okay, that idea of hers or yours is very good. The next sentence is, he always keep dash things very systematically. So here, the answer is his. He always keeps his things very systematically. The next sentence is, Sunita and I live together. Dash is a joint family. So here, we will use possessive pronoun ours. Ours is a joint family. The next sentence is, the injured dog returned to dash kennel. So now here, dog has no gender and for neuter gender, we use its. Okay, so we will use possessive adjective its. Okay, look at the next sentence. They picked up dash things and went out to play. So the answer here is, their things and went out to play. They picked up their things. So we will use here possessive adjective. The next sentence is, the boys sitting there won't let you touch those toys. They are theirs. Okay, this is a possessive pronoun. The next sentence is, the horse fell down and broke dash leg. So again, horse is uh, horse has no gender. So for neuter gender, we use its. The horse fell down and broke its leg. The last sentence is, Suchita has bought that was. Now it is dash. Now it is hers. Okay. Now look at the last exercise. Here uh, two parts are given in this exercise. And you have to fill in the blanks with mine, your, yours, hers and his. I am sure this isn't dash suitcase. So here we will use possessive adjective. And the possessive adjective which will be used here is your. I am sure this isn't your suitcase. Sir, you are mistaken. That's dash, not dash. So the answer here is, sir, you are mistaken. That's mine, not yours. Okay. Look at the second part. Mr. Dikshit has got dash umbrella, but Mrs. Jennifer hasn't got dash. So answer here will be Mr. Dikshit has got his umbrella but Mrs. Jennifer hasn't got hers. So these were the four exercises which were given in your books on page number 141 and 142. So all of you will write the answers in your books with pencils in neat and clean handwriting. Okay. So this is all for today and we'll meet once again in a new video in which we'll discuss about reflexive and intensive pronouns. So till then take care all of you, stay home, stay safe and thank you so much for watching.